Hey there, love bugs. What's going on? My name is Rabbit, and thanks for joining me for more of our bonus exploration of Jade Cocoon 2's post game content. We are here in episode number 158, ready to move forward into the second island of Earth Erosion with our ultimate goal, obviously and naturally, to make it to the level 5 Earth Forest. But we are trying to knock out some of these earlier areas, as we've done in all of the other elemental forests, just so that we can see the cutscenes uh, to sort of introduce us to the post game world and what's going on for each of the primary characters that we've interacted with thus far. So we actually did meet a brand new sweet knight. Her name is Mint. That was spoiled for us a while ago because we saw the job postings and I waited the longest to come here, which I'm starting to wonder if it's wiser to come here first because Kakona herself even mentioned that all the sweet knights are training in different elemental forests. It sounds to me like Kakona is in the wind forest and I'm guessing that vanilla is probably going to be in the water and I guess that leaves cinnamon who would be in the fire I don't know I don't remember who uses what elements with the exception of I'm pretty sure vanilla is a slimy beast hunter and I have no idea what mint is going to be what her primary attribute will focus on because she is training here in the earth forest so anyway that's all the deets that you really need to know outside of the fact that we did get a new Gera medal as well as an egg that we may or may not have already seen in the past just because I did have a period where I was doing lots of mixing and matching with eggs. So, no, please don't touch me. Go away. Okay, thank you. So that's where we're at, friends. It's the Dello Karak, I think is what the egg is called, I'm pretty sure. But no matter, because I, woo, I almost ran right into him. I am not planning on doing any more major merging or raising anyone from scratch. I've got people that are just sort of chilling in the beast kennel and you know when they're getting levels it's great because I have been trying to pick up some older folks. Hi Kahu. Huh? Chaco, why are you here? Why? That's pretty terrible Kahu. No, I heard from Kakona that you were training in another forest. Oh, I just wanted to try this forest out a little more. I want to raise some Earth Divine Beasts, so... It's not exactly where I do my training, but rather it's really my own problem. Chaco, you're pretty old-fashioned. Well, my regular forest is more comfortable. I have no idea what we just talked about. Then, shall we battle to commemorate the revival? So the truth comes out. Not again. You like it as much as me. Fine, I guess. I, I suppose it's a good thing I talked to her twice. Oh well. Okay. Only one time. You got it, Kahu. Here it goes. <laughs> okay, you do. That's a little bit weird. Dude, her team looks a little fucking scary, you guys. I'm not going to lie. But anyway, so what I was starting to say is that I've been going back through and trying to pull old people that have been chilling in there for a while that hadn't yet reached the, the point where they could hit their final evolutionary form. So that's kind of been what my goal. Ha what the fuck? Her team is tough as fuck. I can't believe she went first, too. But anyway, so that's been the goal for me. However, I do think there is some merit and some value to trying to re-raise brand new ones that you can specifically pick and choose what direction you want them to go in and all of that fun stuff. But protect, what the fuck? What is this protect garbage? It must be, I don't know. We might even have it. I don't know. Maybe we'll find it as we're making our way through the earth forest. Good God, this is bad news bears, you guys. I need to watch my ass. Like, I want to go back to my... My wind side, but holy fucking shit. Her team is fucking mine up. But I think we'll be okay here on the Earth side. They're a little tankier than everybody else. Ooh, I'm sweating it a bit. Choco's not fucking around. So anyway... If I can just focus on what I'm trying to say. I think there is quite a bit of merit to wanting to go back and 
sort of hand rear beasts now because you should have a lot of S rank skills and you kind of know what's a good direction to take them in versus what might not be that fruitful later on and might just be a waste of the skill slots and blah, blah, blah. So I don't know. I just am not, I'm not about it. I don't think it's worth my time personally to go back, but that's kind of up to you to decide. So I'm gonna put Lamina back on. Okay, please stop, if I can. All right, I've got room for it one more time. And then we gotta get off this water slash earth side, because it's not working out for me. And I still don't feel confident switching back to the wind. We've got someone who will die. But yes, please keep focusing. My Og, they're, they're a husky bunch. They can take a beating. No pause on that one. So anyway, how are you guys doing? <laughs> I'm sitting here talking about like my strategies and what I'm planning, even though at this point in the game, honestly, I haven't been thinking that much through. It's just sort of been me going through the motions and... Okay, this thing seriously needs to stop. Please stop. I, I guess I have books too. Why am I not using any of them? I could, and I probably should, but hopefully that one is dead, so no more shenanigans from that one. And I feel a little bit better now about switching, because she has no more than two on each side, so that'll reduce the ass whooping that anyone's going to have to face. Oh, and we go first. Okay, we made it, friends. How is life in y'all's camps? Good? Not so good? Things are okay over here, as I was starting to share in our last episode, Things at work have been a little bit nuts for me, but I feel like that's normally the case. It's very rare, I, I feel anyway, that I have super calm weeks. Although I will admit that things have been considerably calmer in the month, like the end of January and the beginning, I would say, Anandia, what the fuck? Wow, uh, that's a revitalized spell, but it brings someone back all the way. <laughs> that is some bullshit. So Arya is the one that heals. I think Arya is the one that brings back, but it's not to full HP. I can't remember the name of these fucking spells, but I think that is the truth. Please kill this one in the middle. Thank God. So no more of that garbage. And I will go ahead and try to get Lamina off again. God damn. Choco, I feel like I really need some of the folks from your party. Or at least some of the spells that she's got. Because this isn't fair. <laughs> she has the advantage here, and I think she fucking knows it. But it's whatever. I'm pretty sure we're good to go from this point forward. But I'm not loving all of this shit about attack parameters going up. I'm not feeling this. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. But as I was saying, work's been a little bit crazy, and naturally, I feel like there's always shit that's just going at. Please don't kill my beast. Whoo! All right, she's good to go, but she's pissed off, so someone's about to get fucked. And it's not gonna be me. But things have been a little bit chaotic and messy. We've had, oh gosh. She is fucking mad, so mad. I gotta get off this side though. I'm not trying to have anybody die. Ouch. Fuck off, Choco. You started this. I'm just finishing it. Please don't kill anybody. Ooh. Uh. Yeah, I don't know if Lamina is going to be enough to get the job done for heals, but we're gonna see how far we can make it through this forest this way. I mean, it's either going going to be great and there won't be any problems, or it's going to be a disaster. So I don't know, we'll see. We'll wait it out, keep our fingers crossed. I need to do some mad healing though, that is for sure. Boom. Fuck you, Choco. I'm just getting started, watch this. Your whole team is dead, what are you even talking about? Nothing, that's what. Oh shit, I say that and then she almost <laughs> kills one of my bees. <laughs> I need to stop playing, y'all. I need to stop and actually focus on what's going on. All right, that's another one done. She's walloped. Maybe I can get some heals off and try to use this to my advantage. I'm just getting started. 
as long as her... Ooh, I don't know. We'll see. I think they might... They might focus her. Oh my gosh, stop! I hope I brought enough mugworts because... Ooh, maybe what I could also do is at the end of each of the level for us just go back to the temple we'll see i'm not trying to fuck up and die that that is for fucking sure okay we go first though so it is a wrap for choco although i you know i'll give her some applause her team not only looked scary it actually was fucking scary she had a pretty good lineup it, it gave me a run for my money, and that cannot be said for pretty much what we encountered throughout the entire water forest. That's right, bitch. Sit down. Boom. Tons of XP. That is what we need. Go, go, go. Actually, we should be fine because everyone still needs to kind of morph up, so. Oh, no. Not ready yet, huh? What are you talking about? And you didn't lose all of a sudden. You lost... So let's battle again. Uh, not right now. I am sweating it over here, girlfriend. Like, so rough, my team. But it's all good. It's all good. So, once again, for like the fifth time, I know I'm like all over. Is he not going to disappear? Whatever. I guess it's not my problem. Oh, oh, yes. I'm so glad we fought her before we found that. All right, guys, things are good. We're just going to keep on rolling around at the speed of sound. So for like the fifth time, my mind is like all over the places. I'm trying to focus on this fight and not getting our asses totally handed to us, which nobody died. So I will take that. And what, what the fuck is this? Oh, boy, a bitter mugwort. I know that sounded sarcastic, but it's not supposed to be. I'm actually excited that I found a bitter mugwort because that might prove useful fairly shortly. We shall see. But, oh, another cutscene? Oh, Kahoo. Hello. Oh, Myth. How are you doing? I'm working hard to become a full-fledged beast hunter. And do, you sound like some old guy talking to his secretary or something. Huh? No way. You serious? Yeah, gotta watch myself. But Myth, you're working so hard for one so young. Mm. Aren't you treating me like a child? I know it can't be helped that you still think of me as a child, but please do not treat me as a child. Uh, sorry, I got it. I get where she's coming from, but he's just being thoughtful. I know what you mean about wanting to grow up, but getting angry about being treated as a child is really childish. <laughs> that really does make sense. One gets angry about being old, and one about being a child. Oh my, what a pair. <laughs> Nico is just trying to egg them on, I think, but you know, she does have a point. Oh, I think Mint's model's cute. I wonder why they made her hair so dark Compared to the portrait, it's more of a lavender periwinkle-ish color, but the model show oh, is he really gonna fuck with me? The model shows it as more of like a sapphire blue or a I wouldn't say it's a wet blue, but it's yeah, I I don't know, there's a bit of a mi mismatch going on there. Okay, what am I doing? I'm wanting to kill them ASAP. So we will let the fire squad do their dirty work. But I feel like we're just getting cutscene after cutscene. The water forest was not so exciting, which I wonder if it's just because it was only cure and there's really only so much that can be going down with just one person. Whereas here, there are multiple, is he gonna fuck with me too? There are multiple characters that were tied to the earth forest events. So, you know, I guess it makes sense that on every single, it feels like anyway, island, we're getting little stories and cutscenes and pockets of information. So that's kind of exciting. It makes me feel a little <laughs> a little less guilty about dragging you guys through all of this with me. But let's see if we can just knock out one more island and then we will call this an episode. Why do you guys fight me? I kill you in one hit. So absurd. But I'm thinking that things will be more 
engaging than the water force. Although we got through the water force hella fast as a result of there being so few cutscenes. I mean, we ran into Nam a couple of times and then we ran into Cure a couple of times, but we didn't get into that many fights, or at least I don't recall getting into that many fights. And I don't really care about your eggs, bro. So we're just going to keep on walking. Are you gonna fight me too? I don't understand. <laughs> I really don't get why some of these guys think it is appropriate to come and fuck with us. Because it is absolutely not. So we should take him out, and I think this island is a smaller one. So that'll bring us, then, at the start of episode number 150. Ugh, really? What the fuck? Why do you even have that? Well, I guess we are in the level one area, so I shouldn't be that mad, but it just, if it's gonna drop from them, at least give me something worthwhile, game. Come on. Oh, is this the shopkeeper? This is an unusual place. Wanna buy anything? Guess I could have sold it, but whatever. What do you even have? Nothing of that. Oh, he's got citron powder, so I should watch myself. I do have a tendite herb. Do I need this? Actually, fuck it. I don't really need the 18 yen. It's not worth a fucking thing. And yeah, you guys can see I'm, oh, Grace Pearls. Ha ha ha, and the mint badge. I might already have one of these, and I still never determined if the Sweet Night paraphernalia is important for any reason other than to sell. I'm wondering if they're not actually tied to quests. I think that is beyond the scope of what this game is really aiming to do but I haven't wanted to sell any of them just because I don't know maybe there will be a point in the game where if you have all of choco shit for example you get I don't know maybe a fucking rare choco doll because I know there are figurines that you can collect we've seen a couple of them become accessible through the shop here in the post game and we've we've run into a couple even prior to completing the main story's events so I don't know what is supposed to be Story tied and what's not. Hello, Kakona and Cinnamon. Oh, Kahu, how are you doing? How unusual to see you two together, Kakona and Cinnamon. Why is he talking like Having this? A tactical conference between the leader and subleader. I'm not the subleader. Huh? You're not. But there's always a cool blue subleader on the team in those ranger movies. <laughs> this is not a ranger movie. We don't have a specific subleader, but everyone does follow Cinnamon after all. Really? I gotta give credit to Cinnamon's VA. I I actually like it a lot. Cinnamon sure gave a bad first impression, I thought. So you thought so too? What about now? Hmm. I guess she still gives a bad impression. <laughs> but to tell you the truth. It's more like she doesn't say anything unnecessary. What she says is right, so we've begun to trust her judgment. Too bad she's a bitch, but hey, she's a cool bitch. I think Kokona is a good leader. Just a trite on opinion, though. That is trite, but I never know Cinnamon's true intentions. Those are my true intentions. What are her true intentions? I could never take care of everyone. Okay, whatever ladies, y'all have fun doing whatever it is that you were doing in here. I thought they were all supposed to be in... This guy's just gonna make this... Make this happen, end his own life, I guess. You know what, whatever, we'll let the air side get its, its due in of taking someone down. And then we will call this a video, my friends. So when we come back together in episode number 159, I... I feel like I'm not even really going to have a chance to get one full story out because we're just being hit with cutscene after cutscene after cutscene, which I'm not complaining about. I'm glad that things have been a little bit more exciting here than in the previous forest. So, hey, I will take it. Hopefully we'll have some more fun fights waiting ahead of us in Earth Lurker. Thanks, as always, for joining me for our bonus exploration of Jade Cocoon 2's post-game content. When we resume, yeah, we're just going to keep making our way through until we get to the level five Earth Forest. So I will see you guys there. Take care.